Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the LG Stylo 6 on my left and the Orcatel uh, C21 on my right. Now the Orcatel was released in August 2020 and the LG Stylo 6 was released in September 2020. Now, as far as the build quality of the Orcatel, has this incel display kind of vibe so when you look at it you could see like a black border you can see the screen comes up you get this punch hole at the top left hand corner which actually looks really good gives you really nice green to body ratio on this device um, no app tray on this device but it looks really really good for you know you get your google apps on here power button right here it kind of feels a little cheap to be honest you get your uh, volume rocker, which actually feels pretty better than the power button. This one feels flimsy, but this one kind of has a nice click to it. So this one will give you a fingerprint sensor and you will get facial recognition on this device as well. So just keep that in mind. The LG Stylo 6 does have the power button right here on the right side. Fingerprint to the back as well. We do got the volume rocker so off to the left and a Google Assistant button, which you can dis, um, disable. Uh, so that's pretty cool. We also do have your pen at the bottom, speaker at the bottom, Type-C charging, and um, you get your, you, uh, your Type-C here as well with speaker. No headphone jack on the Orcatel, so just keep that in mind as well. Now, when it comes to the weight of both of these devices, we have a 219 grams of weight on the LG Stylo 6. On the Orcatel, we have only 170 grams, so it's a pretty lightweight phone fits in your hand really well also. So it comes in purple, blue, and black, whereas the LG just comes in that 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 white color. Like this does look blue to my, in my opinion, but it, they call it white. Now <clears throat> you get a 6.8 inch display on the LG Style L6, which is going to be really nice to look at. And you can see right here, a really nice display, really um, colorful, high density display. We're getting 1080 by 2460, 395 pixels per inch and on a 6.4 inch display on the Orcatel with really fast facial recognition and TFT LCD IPS display at 19 by 5, 9, 1080, 2310, 398 pixels per inch. So I, I do like the display on here. It gets really snappy um, with, as far as the performance. We'll get into the processor in a minute, but let's just go over some of the, let me turn off auto rotate. But you can see right here, really beautiful display to look at when it comes to pictures, everything like that uh, looks really good on here. Now we get a, let's talk about the chipsets on these devices. Now the Orcatel is gonna give you some really good performance when it comes to gaming. You're gonna get a Helio P60 chipset with octa-core processing speeds at clocked in at two gigahertz, which is really good. Now I think I said you get 128 you actually get 64 gigabytes of internal storage on this device on the lg you get 64 gigabytes of internal storage as well four gigabytes of ram on this one three on this one so you're gonna get a better performance on this one just because of the helio p60 is really powerful um you're getting the gyroscope sensor uh, uh, accelerometer things of that nature um so I just want to show you like the gaming is really clean on this device. You won't have any issues whatsoever. Um, basically, it's going to give you a really snappy uh, processing chip. I do like that it gives you the gravity sensor as well. So it's not too bad. Um, let me just reverse this. Okay, boom. But you can see, like, as far as the gaming on here, it's really smooth. I have no complaints whatsoever. Um, the speakers even sound really loud as well. So when it's rendering, it does a really good job. This is probably one of the higher graphic games that I usually play. And uh, like I said, no issues whatsoever playing this game. So. Honestly, with the four gigabytes of RAM, the P60, the P60 chip, um, you also do get um, some really good graphics on here. So I, I could definitely say it's a good device. Get the Armali G7 II, 
uh, with 7 megahertz clock speed as well. Um, so definitely a pretty decent processing chip. Now we are getting that DTS audio dual speakers on the LG Stylo, which is really good for gaming. You're going to be able to um, get some really good gameplay on here as well. So it's not, it's not going to be as good as the Orcatel because the P60 is a little bit more powerful, but you're not going to notice any um, headaches, stutters, things like that. Everything's going to be pretty snappy on here. So um, for the most part, I wasn't in complaining at all when it came to this device. Matter of fact, it actually um, held up over time for what it was, you know. So the LG Stellar 6 isn't really a gaming phone, but it does give offer some pretty decent graphics uh, if you're a gamer and you like to play like PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, things of that nature. But um, yeah, I could definitely say this is a pretty cool, um, you know, phone for the price. Now the Orcatel is a 16 megapixel Omnivision OV1680 uh, pure cell camera, which is a 16 megapixel standard lens. You also do get on the LG Stylo 6, the 13 megapixel standard lens. You get a two megapixel for portrait on the Cube, um, on the Orcatel, as well as a five megapixel wide lens on the LG, a portrait for five megapixel on the LG, and it also you get um, two, uh, another two megapixel standard lens on the Orcatel with another uh, 0.3 macro lens. So uh, they give you four cameras on the Orcatel. You can see that and then you get that fingerprint right there as well. On the front facing camera of the Orcatel, you get the 20 megapixel uh, Samsung camera lens. And then on the front of the LG, you get the 13 megapixel. So you can see that the dew drop on the top of the LG and the punch hole cut out on the top of the Orcatel. I'm just gonna open up Geekbench on both of these phones and let you guys see Geekbench 5 scores on both of these devices. Now they are both running Android 10, three gigabytes of RAM on the LG and four on the Alcatel. So you can see really good scores on the Alcatel. I could definitely say this is a really good device for the price. Let's do a quick speed test. Okay guys, so I'm gonna clear out all the apps from the background real quick and just show you guys which one opens up the apps a little bit quicker. So right now we're gonna jump to Spotify. And that looked like it was about a tie. Let's jump to Play Store. One, two, and three. That was the Orcatel. Let's jump to Facebook. One, two, three. Well, that was almost a tie as well. Let's try Twitter on both of these devices. So one, two, three, Twitter. And that was the Orcatel by a slight air. But honestly, guys, let me know which one was your favorite device. Overall, you're getting a really stock Android uh, version on the Orcatel with some skin on top of it. You don't get the option for the app tray, but you get a really nice snappy processing chip, decent cameras, decent build quality, overall good performance and good, great battery and great display. Now on the LG Stylus 6, you're getting great features, great pen, um, great speakers, good build um, and overall decent power, power performance. So let me know what you guys think down below, but I'll check you guys on the next one. In the meantime, I'll get right back with you later crew. Peace.